Hi guys, welcome to another video of mine on this really cool DIY channel video Epo where we get to make something and we have fun. Thank you subscribers for all your support and encouragement. You guys keep me motivated. If you are watching this video and not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. In this video, we will be making an ornithopter. What is an ornithopter? Is that your question? An ornithopter is a machine designed to achieve flight by the means of flapping wings. Although this was conceptualized much earlier, Leonardo da Vinci, the artist and scientist, is attributed to this design. The first rubber band power ornithopters came into existence way back in 1871. So in this video, we will make one and also put together a kit that I bought from eBay. I will leave the purchase links in the description below. Is it better to make one or is it worth buying one? You will have to wait till the end of the video to find your answer. Let's get started. Putting this kit together is a lot easier if you have watched ornithopter making videos. I am saying this because it comes in a pouch with just this pamphlet and no clear instruction. The rotation of the crank gives this up and down or flapping motion of the wings. It has plastic connectors for the wings and carefully note the connecting rods as to which side of the wings they are attached. It's very important for an even motion. The rubber band is held with the hook on which the tail is also mounted. The wings and tail are made of thin polythene sheets. The toy is powered by a special kind of rubber band, which seems to be the cause of failure in most of the homemade ones. You need aircraft rubber bands and not the ordinary rubber bands. Ordinary rubber bands do not have as much as elastic strength. You will need some popsicle sticks, barbecue skew, paper clips and earbuds. You could use old pen refills as well. Mark and cut 3 pieces of popsicle sticks of 5 cm in length. Reduce the size of one of its pieces to match the width of the earbud or refills if you are using that. Make marking on the same piece to accommodate the barbecue skew. The mark portion was removed and this would be the center piece sandwiched between the other two. Once done, the barbecue skew can slide into the slots. The skew was cut to a length of 14.5 cm. Three of them were needed. Then the center piece was aligned and the skew were attached. The last slot was reserved for the earbud. Once done, it was covered with the final piece. Two more pieces cut from the earbud were fixed on the frame opposite to the earlier one, on either side of the frame. With this, the main chassis of the bird is complete. The wings were cut to a length and the paper clips were used as connectors. After this point, the measurements are very much standard and please check the PDF in the description. I rolled up the bent clips with some thread and used super glue to hold it in place. The same was done to the top part of the frame consisting of the earbud pieces. This is the crankshaft. It has a 90 degree bend, another 90 degree bend, a 45 degree bend and then 90 degree again. Looking sideways, all of them look 90 degrees but from center, one of them is got the 45 degree bend. Two small connecting rods were made and two holes were marked and drilled. Then it was slid into the crankshaft and the wing frames were connected for a quick check. If it is not moving freely and uniformly, this step needs to be repeated until it's right. For the tail hook, I bent a paper clip and made the tail frame. It was connected to the main frame. At this stage, the rubber band was added and tested for a smooth motion. Don't worry if the wing rods come out of the earbuds. It will be taken care later. Cut a thin plastic sheet for the wing and tail and glue it to the frame. That's it, it's done. So let's compare both. First, what was bought. Second, what I made. Now let me tell you something guys, both of them work, they really do. But what I bought from eBay seems to be airborne a little bit longer than the DIY version. The DIY version was made with popsicle sticks and barbecue skew, all of that made the aircraft a little bit heavier. Maybe next time, I should try using thinner doubles. 
let me know of what you think thanks for being there till the end of this video guys please don't forget to subscribe and share i have lots of other videos on my youtube channel i hope you like them too see you in my next video